Hi everybody, today we are going to cover Flexbox, or at least part of it. This is the first video in a series of videos about Flexbox. So let's get into it. I learned a lot of this stuff from this Rachel Andrews series. I'm going to link all the articles in the description. It's four articles, but she goes really in depth into uh, Flexbox. And so I definitely recommend checking those out. I also recommend checking out this uh, CSS Tricks article, a uh, complete guide to Flexbox. I think you've probably already seen it. It's like the number one uh, result if you Google Flexbox, but definitely check that out too. So with Flexbox, there's a couple key concepts you have to get first. The first uh, one is that there's a flex container, a containing a, a div or containing a element, and then there's flex items. So the flex items are the children of that containing element. The other concept you have to get is the uh, idea of a main axis and a cross axis. And these uh, change depending on what properties you set, and I'll show you those in a second. So, right here in the code, I have a uh, simple HTML page. Uh, I have a div with a class container. It's containing all of our flex items. Uh, it's just these boxes with these numbers in them. I have a box uh, class and they all have color classes. So the color classes just give them a nice background color to make it nice to look at. The box is just setting the font size slightly bigger and putting a border on it. So there's no sizing taking place right now. So because they're divs, they're uh, expanding all the way across their parent element and they're just stacked on top of each other. So that's all gonna change the second I put display flex. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make our container into a flex container. And so now instantly, a couple different things just happened. One, it uh, changed all the flex items to be in a row because the uh, default value is row. And then it lined them all up on the left side of the flex container. So the way you can specify which way the uh, main axis, it lined it all up on the main axis. The way you specify which way that goes is with a property called flex direction. So by default it's set to row and so we get this effect but we could also change it to row reverse and that'll line them up on this side of the div. So all that did was change the main where, the, where it starts. So there's the idea also of the uh, main start and main end and so when I set row reverse it moved this main start to this side. It didn't actually reverse the layout. It still lays them out in the same order. It just changed where it started laying them out. You can also do a flex direction of column. And that'll lay them out vertically. So the reason these are stretching all the way across isn't the same reason as they were before. It's not because they're divs. It's because there's another item or another property we will uh, cover in, a next, in a, another video uh, that actually stretches all of the flex items across the cross axis. So the reason they're stretching is because this is the cross, the horizontal axis is the cross axis when you have flex direction set to column. We have it set back to row. You'll notice they still stretch all the way across the cross axis. It's just not as noticeable because it's about the same size as the text. The, uh, the boxes are only as big as the text anyway. The next property we're gonna cover is justify content. And what justify content does is it specifies how the flex items are lined up or just are distributed across the main axis. So right now the default is flex start. We can also do flex end. And that'll move them all the way this way. We could also do space between. And that'll uh, push the outermost ones to the edge and then put even space between them. And what's nice about this is that it's it flexes. That's the beauty of Flexbox is that it uh, changes depending on how large our window is. We can do space around. And what that'll do is it'll put half of this space on either side of the two last uh, uh, flex items. And we can also do space evenly. And that'll just put an even space between all of them. The next uh, and last uh, property we're going to cover is actually uh, called the order property and you actually place these on the flex items themselves so notice this box one has a class of red so I'm just going to apply the order property to that and by default every single item has a order set to one so if you set 
the number higher than one, you can set it to anything you want. If you set it higher than one, it will put that uh, item last on the stack. So if I set it to one here and save, oh, save, the red box is gonna go to the end of the order there. And I can set that to anything I want. If I, I can have, I set that to one and I'll set blue, the blue one, uh, I'll put that in order, uh, or actually we'll do the green one, why not? I'll do, that's box three, so I'll do order of, I could do 100, you can really put any number you want, it doesn't have to be one through 10 or anything. And then because order 100 is higher than order one, it goes after box one. And so that's the last uh, property we're gonna cover today. Uh, stay tuned for another Flexbox video. Thanks for watching.